I got this question from my another video about half tone portraits. So the viewer asked how to create a half tone background in Figma. And today we are going to do exactly that. There's a free starter file link in the description below to so make sure you grab it. All right, that's firing up that starter file. As you can see, most of the screen is set up already. We are turning this BG frame into a half tone design. The final half tone will be added as an image field to this frame. Okay, now let's start by copying this background frame as an image. I'm going to demo this process for this one version, but I already done this tedious process for you, so all four versions are available here. Now open up today's main character, the half tone that plugin. So there's one important note right here. So don't use the imagery that's bigger than 512 pixels. So I found this is a good starting point, uh, and I also found that anything bigger will freeze the software. Okay, just make sure that uh, you don't go too big. Now select this image, and then we could start it to adjust the dot size until you see the distinct gradient layers. So I think this looks good. Then hit generate. This result in a dot pattern, which uh, with a transparent background. Uh, you could test it by placing a red rectangle behind it, like here that you will see the red is shining through. But we don't want transparency because we are going to use gradient mapping next, so we need a solid background for that. So I'm going to add a white field underneath the dot image. Okay, now the next tedious part, tedious part is um, we are going to copy this as an image again because the gradient map plugin doesn't operate on the compound field like this. So I've done that for you, so you can use this the imagery here to continue the process. Let's open the gradient mapper plugin and uh, reduce the stop to two and apply the color swatch that uh, that is provided here. So these color swatch are extracted from the original background here you can see. And to boost the contrast, since it's a background, there's a content above it. So contrast is matter, matters a lot. So I will add a third stop in the middle and use the dark color that we just added. So you see here that it becomes darker and I would like to be more contrasty. So I'm going to keep adding dark color stops. So one small trick here is that we can add the dark color stop by clicking between these two dark stops. You can see here. So, but if you place the stop use, uh, between the dark and light, then it will give you these kind of mid-tones. Well, it's fine. You can still change it back to the dark, but it's just more work and we don't like that. So it's just a tiny tips for you. This level of darkness uh, looks good and it keeps the about content above legible. So I'm going to go with that. So let's hit apply. Uh, now copy the map image field and pass it to the background frame as a field layer. All right. Uh, to make us all see the uh, background, we are going to hide all the layers inside the frame. Now you can see that. Now we reduce the opacity of the whole background layer to 90% because I want the underlying grid texture to show through a bit, uh, but without clouding the view. So yeah. Okay. So basically all the four map health tone background uh, is here. So if you just want something that's ready made, so you can also grab it here. And yeah, that's all for this tutorial. This halftone style was inspired by a design I found on Pinterest. For credit, it's linked right over here. If you like this, check out my another video about halftone portrait. I've linked it in the description. And if you got any question about this video, don't be shy, drop a comment below. Like and subscribe if you found this helpful and share it with your design buddies. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. This is Menchi from Men Design. Signing out.